Good morning, guys. These two watches are ready to go. Money can flow into your experience through endless avenues. It is not the choice of the craft that limits the money that flows. The most important thing is to know what your life mission is, to be connected to your ancestor. I'm currently working on a couple of orders. I'm making the finishing touches on a couple of watches ordered by Beautiful Goddess. Those are spiritual jewelry, you know, they're called Venusian jewels for a reason. My watches come with a spiritual gris gris. And in the African tradition, it's very common for us to use. Those are nature elements activated, which you carry around with you in order to either protect you or manifest, attract something specific. So for instance, you will see a lot of women wanting to get pregnant, wearing those gris gris around their waist, or once they get pregnant, in order to protect the uterus, the baby, so that the baby grows healthy, to avoid miscarriage, to avoid evil eye, things like that. That's what my jewelry is. It is not just beautiful, stunning statement rhinestone pieces. I do the spiritual work behind so that you get the element of protection and of manifestation. And the jewelry comes in this box. This is actually a client of mine who took the year-long offer. Her potion, which is custom made for her, I use as a basis my Queen of Sheba potion. The formula has specific elements which are only hers. So I will add whatever she needs based on our first session, which is a two-hour session. In a couple of months, she's going to get the same base potion, but with different elements because we are an evolution process the elements that i'm using in the potion are also going to evolve she's also getting her venusian lace lingerie that she's going to use when she does her venus smoke and all of her yoni healing rituals she's also getting her special blend for her healing bath so she's getting three of those for three separate baths she's getting her venus smoke for her yoni rituals again three they come this way and i put them in this box she's also getting her lucid dream herb blend so the orders are ready to go in this box there are the two watches that i'm finally done with you know setting up for the protection and the attraction of abundance and here my vip box the first vip box of my beautiful beautiful goddess with her first potion so off camera i'm going to finish packing and get them in the dhl box so that i I can call the delivery guy so he can come and pick them up so you will get your orders ASAP. So this is as much as I can show you as far as the VIP box is concerned because the rest of it we take care of it during the consultation. So in this video I'm taking you along with me to the Cartier or Cartier as English speakers say. Cartier is the house of precious high-end jewelry. They have those boxes if you recognize them. They're having an exhibit on the influence of Muslim art and the creations that Cartier has put out. So the exhibit basically talks about all of the travels in Muslim places in the world, being Africa, the Middle East, and South Asia, where they traveled, bought, or were gifted art uh, pieces and uh, precious jewelry and those served as inspiration for some of their most notorious creations. As you know, I work with emeralds and rubies and sultanite and moldavite and Herkimer diamonds to activate my potion. So you know the Venusian love and attachment and connection with precious stones.
And I also had lunch with a beautiful friend of mine. Her name is Erica. She doesn't want to be seen in the video because she said that she wasn't prepared. I found her to be absolutely gorgeous. But yes, next time I'll show her. Uh, she's in the fashion industry and she's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul herself which is actually the most important thing for me. So I hope you enjoyed the video and watch until the end. If you love the pure spiritual stuff, I will show you some clips of my Venusian light code activation channeling. If you're not into that, just skip that part because you won't understand it, you won't like it. But if you're really in line with that aspect of spirituality and channeling, divinity definitely stay tuned when i start the channeling just close your eyes and just receive those beautiful blessing energies the way venusians heal is through movements sacred symbolism of gestures and through speaking venusian just hearing venusian is a healing thing on its own it's a blessing it is showers of beautiful miracles it unlocks so many things within you <laughs> It's raw. It was just me sitting there doing my daily channeling and putting on my phone. So it's nothing fancy, but it is divine by nature. It's not about the aesthetic of it. It's really about closing your eyes and connecting to your heart. If you're into that stuff, watch until the end of the video. I love you and I see you in my next one. <laughs> Je préfère. Merci. Oui, je viens. So I arrived a little bit early because I wanted to make this video before my friend arrives. So this is the restaurant. How do you determine that you need to start on a spiritual journey? Well, the first way to find out, to realize, is when there is some sort of disharmony in your life. We look at the symptoms. It's really an issue of feeling disconnected feeling like something is not right. Sometimes there are those of us, like me, who didn't have a choice because of childhood trauma, it may be disease, loss, abandonment, abuse, some sort of traumatic experience that doesn't leave you a choice. You have to address the fact that there's something off. So you may not have this awakening of this Eureka moment as a child, but with time, you start to build sort of the intuition that you need to go further to look beyond. But say you're an adult, how do you know you need to start a spiritual journey? Something is going to tell you that you need more, you need something, you need an answer. It may be that you have everything when it comes to having materialized wealth in the 3D and yet you feel like your life doesn't belong to you. You feel that you're losing control, you feel uh, depressed, you feel out of touch. Something happens where the build-up makes it impossible for you to live. It may be that you've sought answers in established mainstream monotheistic religions. Sometimes you reached out to your community and there are questions that don't have answers. We look at the symptom, basically. We look at the need for something. We look at the, the need to fill a void. Something, like there's something out there, like there's something else that we need to tap into. Why is that, that you feel disconnected? It is because when you ignore your subconscious mind's messages, because your soul is going to speak to you through your subconscious mind. So when you ignore your subconscious mind, 
it's going to start playing tricks on you. It's going to start creating situations, hurtful situations, that will basically prevent you from sleeping at night, you know? You're gonna be thirsty for something because your soul is going to speak through your subconscious mind and your mental is going to be triggered. So there are three ways to start on a spiritual journey. My friend is coming, so. <laughs> Do you mind me getting your hands? My beautiful goddess, thank you so much for watching. If you are not into spiritual stuff, <laughs> it is all in divine order. I thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video for more lifestyle content. But if you are open to receive the divine light healing codes and our Venusian energies just mm, close your eyes put on maybe headphones or earphones lay down comfortably focus on your heart and just breathe effortlessly relax your shoulders if you feel tense and let's start enjoy
So as usual, I wish you to manifest lavish imperial opulence as a goddess that you are entitled to be. I love you and I see you in my next one. Mwah.